Today is a great day for Jefferson Parish and our state. We're here because yet another set of energy companies are joining the growing ranks of job creators that see the value of expanding in Louisiana because our state provides an outstanding business climate, an incomparable workforce, and an affordable, abundant supply of natural gas that is second to none. Today, we're excited to break ground on a new ammonia production facility being built by Dino Noble through its parent company right here at the Cornerstone Chemical Company's manufacturing complex. This facility will involve a total investment between those two companies of more than a billion dollars. This investment will include significant site up, uh, upgrades by Cornerstone Chemical, creating 65 direct jobs averaging more than $55,700 a year before benefits, also resulting, according to LED, in another 477 indirect jobs. And Dino Noble estimates this project will create 750 construction jobs over three years. So for 540 permanent jobs, over 750 construction jobs, a billion dollar investment right here in southeast Louisiana. Let's again give these companies a great round of applause for making that kind of investment. But I'd ask you to give a great South Louisiana welcome. Now he thinks we talk funny and you might think he talks funny. <laughs> The important thing is we're finding ways uh, to work together. We're introducing them to some great South Louisiana cuisine. I'm sure they don't have all these dishes in Australia, but we are thrilled to have him here. He is no stranger to Louisiana. We hope he makes many, many more visits. Please give a great South Louisiana welcome to Paul Brasher, the chairman of Instatec Pivot, as he comes up here and talks about this investment. Thank you very much, Governor Jindal. I, uh, that was fantastic. And in fact, I could limit my speech to just one word, amen. Because uh, everything you said about the, the benefits of doing business in Louisiana are the very reasons why we're here today. They're the reasons why we chose to, to build a plant here and to work here, and uh, you said it far better than I ever could have. I stand here today thinking back over what's been a long process, because just over two years ago, we embarked on a search for a location in which to build a major ammonia plant in the United States. It's a really big deal for us. Uh, we're talking about $850 million investment or more, and we had a series of criteria that had to be met in order to choose the appropriate location. This site at Cornerstone Chemical met the criteria for a whole range of reasons. But let me say from the outset that one of the things that particularly stood out to us was the professionalism and the service focus of the people we dealt with in the Louisiana State Government and in Jefferson Parish. From our first meeting with Governor Jindal and his staff at Louisiana Economic Development, it was clear, as the Governor said, that this state understood our business and our needs. The people we dealt with were professional and constructive, they were very thorough, and they were rightly non-compromising in the rigorous environmental and other conditions that we needed to satisfy, but always in a way that recognised we were working together to get the best possible result for all parties concerned. In planning this project, we used two of the world's most efficient and cleanest plants as our reference plants. And the proposed facility is going to incorporate state-of-the-art technology which will make it one of the safest and most reliable plants in the world. One of the factors that caused us to build here was the, the match between our core values and those of, uh, of Louisiana environmental and human safety and a supportive respect for the communities in which we work is reflected in our vision and I know it's reflected also in the vision of the of the state and of our partners. Uh, we heard this morning from KBR, we heard from Cornerstone about their approach to safety and I'd have to say there's a complete matching there which is that we, we all believe that zero harm is possible and we're all going to work towards that and make sure that it happens on this site. Let me tell you how proud we are to be part of the Wagaman community and of Jefferson Parish in the state of Louisiana. We're committed to being good neighbours and being good corporate citizens. We're very excited for the positive economic impact this plant will have, with the creation of 800 construction jobs, a whole range of permanent jobs, and the really good thing about it, each of those permanent jobs creating a, a leveraged effect into even more jobs in the community. Governor and I share a lot of common philosophies. Uh, we both dislike new taxes, but we both endorse new taxpayers. And this project's gonna bring new taxpayers to Jefferson Parish in the state of Louisiana, and that's the way you grow your economy. So thank you very much for your investment in Jefferson Parish in the state of Louisiana, and we can assure you that you will not be disappointed in that investment. 
for years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're going to go outside and uh, put some shovels in the dirt. This will transform our US business. It will roughly double the size of the business when it's up and running and it will provide the next growth platform for that business going forward. So it's not going to stop at this project. This is just such a great place to do business. We've got a government that's very responsive for business who wants to create jobs in Louisiana. And uh, the actual saying that the governor has that he wants to create new taxpayers rather than raise taxes just sums it up. One, two, three. Everybody at every level in the community, the business associations, the community groups, the parish, the government, all had this idea that business is essential to Louisiana. And I understand that by encouraging business to come here, you can achieve a lot for the citizens of the state. So we found the process was fantastic. It was tough. They put us through a very rigorous environmental and other screening. That's the way it should be. But they were always working with us to try to make sure that this project happened and happened for the good of the state.